Carnivorous plants are relatively rare, and the ones that do exist are usually pretty small, only able to feed on smaller animals. But years ago a viewer shared a story about a strange carnivorous plant that is far bigger and far deadlier than anything we currently know of. In 2017, I made a video on cryptobotany, which if you don't know is basically the study of plants not recognized by science, basically cryptozoology for plants. While the video itself covered somewhat well-known cryptid plants, I received a very interesting comment from a user named Kai Russell. Okay, so I live in the Pine Barrens of New Jersey, USA, and when I was about 12, me and my older cousin walked 5 plus miles into the wilderness. He was hunting, I was just along for the adventure. And midway through the day, we come across a 4 or 5 high, weird type of pitcher plant. My cousin, who was around 26 or 27 at the time, knew it wasn't the normal type of pitcher plant we see in the area. It was oozing a purplish white thick sap that looked like purplish marshmallow fluff, and it smelled like a rotting corpse. Long story short, we got home and did research. The plant doesn't exist, or should I say, isn't recognized by science. The pitcher part of the plant was 80% of the plant, while the known pitcher plants have these little tiny pitchers. The plant looked like it was from the rainforest, or a CGI from the movie Journey to the Center of the Earth. We didn't touch a thing, but I wish we would have opened the pitcher. It could have been a deer in it rotting away. It was big and wide, skinnier at the top and bottom. I went to the spot 8 years later, and couldn't find the plant. I've been there 5 plus times since I'm now 26, and haven't seen it since 12, and my memory of the directions of getting to the general area of the plant are slipping each time. Someone tell me they've seen an unidentified plant, because I've never heard of anyone else having seen one. I replied to his comment, and he shared more information about the plant. That is actually the first time either of us have said anything outside the family. The area where we encountered this is probably 15 to 20 miles from the Pygmy Forest in New Jersey. It's an area of pine trees that grow only 4 feet tall for some reason. I don't think science knows. But the Pine Barrens have a decent amount of organisms that are only found here. Those dwarf pine trees are one of them. You can get an idea of the area if you search Dwarf Pine Forest, New Jersey, or Pygmy Forest, New Jersey. Ironically, I've witnessed triangle-shaped UFOs in the area as well, and if you look it up, you can find the news story because a lot of others witnessed these too. Not saying they are connected, it's a weird area for sure. When I first saw this comment, I did a few Google searches for the plant in the forest itself, but like Kai said, there's no information on it. So, I put it in the back of my mind, and hoped that eventually someone who knew more about the plant might find the comment one day. After coming back from a break from YouTube, I saw a comment from Dr. Odd, who shared with me that Dr. Carl Schuker, a famous cryptozoologist with a degree in zoology, covered the comment in an article he wrote for his blog. In the article, which I'll link below, he pointed out a number of interesting details. Pitcher plants work by using a nectar to attract prey. Once the prey enters the plant, it falls down the slippery sides of the plant into the center, where the plant dissolves the prey for food. The size of the pitcher plant Kai spotted would not only make it the largest pitcher plant in North America, but over twice as large as the largest currently known pitcher plant in the world. Whatever was rotting away in the pitcher plant probably wasn't a deer, though it could have been another animal. A deer most likely wouldn't have jumped into the pitcher plant, and even if one did, the deer's hooves likely would have been able to cut through the sides of the plant. Shuker also noted that most pitcher plants actually have multiple pitchers, while Kai's pitcher only had one large pitcher. It's also strange that only one plant was found. Typically even if Kai was unable to find the original plant, there would have been other plants in the area, since that's how plants spread. Finally, while the plant Kai described doesn't resemble other known pitchers, there is a species that looks similar to pitcher plants, known as the Titan Arum, or corpse plant. The name corpse plant comes from the smell the plant makes, which is similar to what Kai describes as usually pitcher plants don't have a sap that smells like a rotting corpse. 
So was this just a misidentification of a corpse plant? Probably not, since the corpse plant is native to the Indonesian island of Sumatra. One showing up in New Jersey would be very out of place. In the comment section of Dr. Shuker's article, a New Jersey resident named Eric gave some background information on the pygmy forest. According to him, many parts of the forest are rarely traveled and don't have trail or road access. Eric goes on to say that if there was something strange anywhere on the east coast, the pygmy forest would be a good hiding place. Additionally, the reason the trees only grow to be about 4 or 5 feet tall is because of frequent wildfires in the area. So what was the plant Kai and his cousin saw that day? If the story is true, I have two theories. My first theory is that the plant is a new, very rare species of pitcher plant that remains unidentified to this day, possibly extinct since Kai couldn't find it on return trips. My second theory is that it's an out-of-place corpse plant. Perhaps someone brought over a specimen to the United States, where it eventually wound up in the pygmy forest. This would explain why only one was found, and if the plant died in the much colder New Jersey climate, it would also explain why Kai couldn't find it on return trips. However, this raises the question of why somebody decided to bring a plant from Sumatra all the way to the United States, and then plant it 5 miles deep in a New Jersey forest. But in the end, without further evidence or sightings, the plant's going to remain shrouded in mystery. But I'd like to hear from you. Have you ever seen a plant like the one Kai described in his comment? Or have you ever seen another unknown plant you couldn't identify? If you saw a giant carnivorous plant out in the forest, would you look inside? Thank you for joining me. If you want to see more, check out this collaboration I did with Beneath the Wild on 10 Lost Nickelodeon commercials. Link in the description. Thank you to Kai, Eric, Dr. Shuker, and Dr. Odd for helping in the creation of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share it with someone you think may also enjoy it. If you want to help the channel out, consider following me on Twitter and Patreon. This video idea won the poll I recently conducted on my channel, so if you want to leave your feedback on what videos I should do next, I'll be running polls on YouTube, Twitter, and Patreon where you can vote. If you have any questions for me, I'm doing a Q&A to celebrate a thousand subscribers, so you can send those to me or leave them below, and I'll answer them in a video. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please leave them below as well, as I really enjoy hearing from everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next video.